Guys and girls need to remember the fact that Frankie is with me. She keeps getting a lot of message requests and friends requests. She's not going to accept. Especially tramps like you. And if you want to keep your kneecaps, I suggest you stop sending her them. She's with the number one psycho. Under the service, is the patient breathing? Uh, yes, yeah, she's breathing. Is she conscious? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. She's set, um, a bit of both, really. Basically, it's me partner's daughter. It's my little girl as well. I brought her up. Um, we've got all three children here playing. And uh, I was in the kitchen making a coffee. And they've been in the living room. And I heard uh, a bang. So I came came out and the little lad stood there and the little girl's on the floor and um, she she was crying and then she stopped crying and then she was sick and now she's just a little bit floppy to be honest with you. And what do you know how what the bang was? Uh, no, I don't know what the, I don't know if she's fallen off the, off of the sofa or I don't know. Just just the you know, the three of them playing with us. Right. And he just said, start, and when I walked in, she was led on the floor. Push, darling. So you heard a bang, the patient was on the floor. I've heard a bang, yeah. I came in, and the little lad was saying, star, which is the little girl. Yeah. So, I've, I've obviously, I've, I've, I shout at the mum in, so sit up, star. So I sat her up, and I started to rub her back, because she was, like, breathing, but, like, struggling. Yeah. So I was rubbing her back. Um, she started to be sick. So I led her on the floor, yeah. put her in like CPR position, started to run her, run her back. Um, she started to lose lose breath. So I performed CPR on her. So you've done CPR. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story comes from West Yorkshire. And it's about a young girl that lost her life. Her name is Star Hobson. Savannah Brockhill, 28 years old, and Frankie Smith have been convicted today for her death. Savannah was Frankie's girlfriend and Frankie was the mother of Star. And they randomly met at a pub that Savannah was security at back in 2019. Smith had visited the pub with her boyfriend at the time and Star's father, Jordan Hobson, when she became smitten with Brockhill. In less than a year of them being together, Star would be dead. She became a victim of the couple's volatile and violent relationship and according to some, Smith's increasing obsession with Brockhill at the expense of her own daughter. Tragically, relatives and friends raised concerns about Star's well-being five times with social services and they failed to intervene after being fobbed off by Smith and Brockhill. The jury heard during the trial that threats were made and violence became a normal part of the toxic pair's relationship and Brockhill dominated her younger lover. Exchanges disclosed in court between Brockhill, who was an amateur boxer and a security dog handler, revealed how she had become more and more possessive over Smith. During one of the breakups in February 2020, Brockhill's barrister read out a text message from the female bouncer saying, I'm broken, I'm going to stab someone tonight, I swear and added in another text, honestly, I'm like the devil. As it turned out, these violent threats also became physical, and Frankie Smith, the mother of Star, painted a picture in court that she was scared of Brockhill because she was trained in self-defence. In one terrifying encounter on March the 14th, 2020, Frankie Smith told the court that Brockhill punched her in the face after she had a fleeting chat with a man in a pub. During the incident, she said that Brockhill grabbed her arm and called her a whore and locked her in a cubicle in the bathroom. They moved in together shortly after in Keeley in West Yorkshire and Brockhill told the younger mother that she was going to both drive them off a cliff in one argument that had proceeded. A psychologist later determined that Frankie Smith, Star's mother, had a very low IQ and was in the bottom 2% of people. They also suggested that she was among the top 3% in regard to her compliance, saying that such a person would defer to a perceived authority figure because she doesn't want to upset them and tend to be more subservient. Star's auntie, Alicia, said that the young mother had developed a strange and unhealthy obsession with Brockhill at the expense of her daughter's well-being. She told the court that everything changed when they met and the couple started dating, adding that disconnect between Star and her mother. 
The first social service referral was on January the 27th, 2020. And by May 2020, more concern had grown about the baby's welfare after a video surfaced showed them being violent to the child and sharing it with their friends. The great-grandmother of Star had also rang social services after seeing a recording of them choke-slamming the baby. Three more calls were also made to authorities in June and one in September, and Brockhill explained that Smith managed to convince the authorities that these complaints were malicious. Brockhill said to the police that she was told by a social worker to limit contact to the person who made the referral, and I heard them say that it was a malicious referral, and I supported that decision. Anita Smith added that she rarely saw the child following the referral and had very little contact with her. Frankie Smith throughout questioning had blamed Brackhill and said that she was responsible for the injuries found on her daughter. They pointed out that on July the 20th, 2020, Brackhill had searched online what takes away bruising and swelling and what takes away bruises quickly. This was 40 minutes after she picked Star up from Smith's flat. But she said in court that she was looking this up due to an injury that she'd suffered during training. On September the 22nd, 2020, emergency services received a phone call from Brockhill saying that the baby was crying, flappy and being sick. During the call, Smith could be heard saying, I'm here, it's a right star, as the couple waited for paramedics to arrive. The paramedics attempted CPR and there was large amounts of vomit and brown material. She was taken to hospital that was six minutes away and clinicians did everything they could to save her, but she was pronounced dead shortly after. The lead prosecutor, Alistair MacDonald QC, said that Starr had suffered massive abdominal injuries and these were caused by the application of blunt force in the form of a kick, punch or stamp delivered to her stomach. They waited 15 minutes before they phoned the ambulance and Mr MacDonald said the reality of the injuries that Starr suffered was so catastrophic that she had no chance of survival. Starr's mother's defence solicitor Safar Ali QC said Smith had neglected her caring duties, saying that Frankie Smith was a terrible mother. She was selfish and also callous, but he said that Smith had been to the toilet when Starr suffered the injuries that led to her death and was not responsible. Similar to Arthur Hughes in a story that I covered recently, Starr was also forced to stand facing a wall for long periods of time and she was repeatedly punched by Savannah as well. And they determined throughout the trial that Smith was definitely dominated by Savannah and this was mainly due to her low IQ of 70, they said. Brockhill was aggressively possessive of her and threatened people on Snapchat that she would put them in a wheelchair and anyone that messaged her. The great-grandparents Anita Smith and David Fawcett warned the authorities, you don't want another baby pee on your hands, do you? But they were accused by social services of being troublemakers and making complaints because they didn't like gypsies or same-sex relationships. Starr's great-grandparents were very shocked at this response. Jurors were showing footage where the prosecutors said Brock Hill delivered 21 blows to Starr while they was in a car over a three-hour period and while the toddler was sat in a car seat. The video came from a camera that was at a recycling plant in Doncaster and Brockhill was working there as a security guard and she was filmed eight days before Star's death. It appeared to show that she'd been punching Star with what was described by the prosecution as considerable force. At one point the youngster fell out of the vehicle and Brockhill also grabbed Star by the throat and chokeslammed her. Another film that was also shown to the jury showed a bizarre and disturbing video where the baby fell out of her chair and hit her head on the floor. The mobile phone footage was slowed down and the pair added music to it and put a caption saying this was the moment she knew she messed up. Another clip filmed by the defendants showed Star so exhausted that she fell forward and slept in a bowl of food. Brackhill told the court that she came from an English gypsy family and left school when she was 10 years old and worked as a bouncer. She regularly exhibited violent behaviour and in an unsettling speech on social media, she said, guys and girls, you need to remember the fact that Frankie is with me. She keeps getting lots of messages and requests and she's not going to accept them, especially from tramps like you. If you want to keep your kneecaps, I suggest you stop sending them. She's with me, the number one psycho. So even though I've covered several stories just this month, of young children that have been failed by social services and everybody that is meant to protect them. It still doesn't get any easier. And this little girl had everything going for her in life. And there was a lot of people around her that could have given the upbringing that she deserved. 
but sadly, Savannah Brockhill was the monster that killed her in the end. So really appreciate you joining me for this. And I've also covered another story recently about baby Amina. And I currently have a petition online. And if anybody would sign that petition, I'd really appreciate it. It's to try to get a review on the parent's sentence. Because in that case, nobody has been convicted for the murder of baby Amina. And I think that it's very important that these children get the justice that they deserve. So really appreciate you joining me today. Rest in peace to Star. And I really want to hear what people have to say. Don't forget you can follow me online as well at instagram twitter tiktok and facebook at scar city studios and also the website at scarcitystudios.com peace it will never bring star back they welcome the convictions and at least can take some comfort in those convictions today could i meet please make a plea on their behalf for some privacy and to leave them now in peace to try and rebuild the rest of their lives this has been a particularly upsetting, distressing investigation for everybody involved. No child should ever suffer as Star suffered, and particularly not at the hands of those that are supposed to be caring for them and love them the most. Her Honour Justice Lambert has played, paid tribute to the jury because of the harrowing nature of the evidence uh, that's had to be heard over the last eight weeks. I want to pay tribute to my investigation team who worked tireless, tirelessly in very difficult situation and very emotional circumstances to bring the evidence together and secure these verdicts today. Thank you.